In this video, we are going to learn to draw a linear graph using the gradient intercept method. This is a way faster method than doing the table. Let's do it. So suppose we are going to draw the graph y equals 2x plus 1. And first, you need to know what is the gradient and what is the y intercept. The gradient is the slope and it is found the number with the x. So in this case, the x is 2x, so the gradient is 2. And if we want to do this method, you have to divide by the rise over run. So gradient is rise over run. So instead of 2, just put 2 divided by 1 because they will give the same answer. And the y-intercept is just the number on its own, the constant. So that is where the graph is going to cut the y-axis. Okay. So if the gradient, you need to know if the gradient is positive, okay, then the graph is going to go upwards. Okay. If the gradient is negative, then it's going downwards. In our case, our gradient is positive because it's positive too. So the graph is going to go up that way. Okay. So now we will do the steps and then we will see how fast we can do it in maybe less than 10 seconds. Okay. So first, you need to find the grade y equal to 2x plus 1. The first thing you do, you need to find the y intercept. The y intercept is plus 1. So you look at the y axis and it's going to cut at 1. Okay, plus one means going to cut at one. So that's the first point. Okay, you need to plot two points. So the first point is already done. Okay, the second point you need to find the gradient. The gradient is m is equal to uh, gradient represented by letter m by the way. Okay, m is rise over run. In our case, our rise is plus two. So two plus two, and then because there's no number, you just divide by plus one. Okay. So now you are ready to plot the next point. It means that you are going from this point, you are going to rise two, so you go up one, two, and then you're going to run one. So you're going to run across one, and that will be the next point. So the last point you need to do, you are going to draw the two lines together, and that's it. And label the graph y equal to two x plus one, and that's how you do it. That's easy, right? Okay, we shall do uh, two more examples and then we'll be all good, okay? So the first step, you have to find the y-intercept, okay? The y-intercept is 2. So where are you going to start? You're going to start at 2, okay? Then you find the gradient. Gradient, is represented by m, is rise over run. So in our case, the rise is minus 3 and the run is 1 because there's no number, you just put plus 1. Because minus 3 divided by 1, it still gives you a minus 3. So now what you're going to do, you're going to plot the second point. So the second point is you're going to go down 3. So from here, 1, 2, 3. And then you're going to run 1 across. You're going to 1 across. And you, then you just need to plot the point, draw the 2 point, And then you are all good. And because this is a negative gradient, okay? So the graph is going down, so you are all good. So the equation is y equal to minus 3x plus 2. And last but not least, we're going to do the hardest example. We have a fraction, okay? It is y equal to minus half x plus 3. So again, you start with the y intercept. The y intercept is 3, so you're going to start at 3, okay? The, where the line is going to cut the y axis, so it's at 3. So you need to find the gradient. Gradient is m equals to rise over run. In this case, the rise over run is already in fraction, so it's minus 1 over plus 2, okay? So very simple. From this point, you're going to go down 1, going down 1, and then you go across to 1, 2, and plot the next point, and then you are going to draw the line across, and then label the graph y equals to negative half x plus 3, and you are all good to go. So this is the method to draw a linear graph using the gradient intercept method. Hope you understand it. Cheers everyone.